Hello there. So you want to learn programming but you don't know where to start? Well, I'm here today to tell you how you can start by first installing an IDE which basically means the integrated development environment for your computer so that you can go ahead and start coding in C++. IDEs are not absolutely important but it makes your life a lot easier to code especially when you are a beginner. I personally don't use any most of the time but whenever I use I either use code blocks or NetBeans. Sometimes Eclipse as well. So for whatever reason you want to learn programming. Today I'm going to tell you how you can install code blocks IDE on your machine even if you are using Mac, Windows or Linux. I'm going to tell you on all three of these platforms. And from next video, I'm going to give you an interactive tutorials on programming languages. Mostly C++, I'll go into Android. I'll also have web development videos. So every Thursday there is going to be a web development video. Every Monday there is going to be a C++ development video. So if you haven't already, please subscribe to get the latest video. Now, let's get started into installing the IDE on your machine. Right now the screen that you see on my computer it is Linux and I have other three operating system for Windows 8.1, U12 15.10 and Mac Apple 10.9 Mavericks on VirtualBox. So let's start with Windows. Now this is my VirtualBox Windows operating system. It is 8.1, but same idea should work for Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 10, whatever you're using on Windows version should work. I cannot guarantee for anything less than Windows 7 though. So to get it started, just go to codeblocks.org slash downloads. I'll put all these links down in the comments below so you can find it from there. And there you will see these options, download the binary release, Let's go there. So let me just give you some brief idea what are each of these downloads mean. The first option here is just says setup. That means that you ought to have some kind of C++ compiler or GCC compiler on your computer already installed. Now if you have no idea what the hell am I talking about then you probably don't want to install this. But if you know what the hell I am talking about and you already have GCC installed on your machine, you can simply go ahead and download this first option right here. In my case, if I do CMD to check if GCC is installed for me, I'm just going to go in, I'm going to type G++. And it says G++ fatal error no input files, compilation terminated. That means I already have a GCC compiler on my computer. But if it says G++ is not recognized as internal or external command or something like that, then that means that uh, GCC compiler is not on your machine. The second option here, setup no admin, basically is for you to be able to install on your computer if you do not have admin access to it and it will work without admin access. The other one is the portable version of code blocks. It does not require the setup. Now the fourth one I think most people will end up installing is mingw-setup.exe. If you do not already have GCC compiler installed, it will let you install with the GCC compiler in the same package. But if you want to install mingw separately, that is also possible. I have made another video regarding how to install that. You can go ahead and check it out. I'll put the link somewhere here. But go ahead and download this if you have never ever used C++. For me, it's going to be code block 16.01 setup.exe. That's what I'm going to use. The no setup again, no setup with mingw. And the last option was Fortran. It will also install the Fortran compiler. It's completely up to you what you want to do. So code blocks setup is downloaded. I'm going to open it. Say yes. It's very standard install, you can just go ahead and start simply clicking next on the default install wherever you want to install it, install it. If you want to run code blocks now, you can say yes, that's what I'm going to do. 
So right here you said GNU GCC compiler detected. So click OK. Now here it is asking you about the file association. Right now your C++ and all the other files are not associated with code blocks. If you want to change that, you can do it right now, right here. I'm going to associate C and C++ file types. And there we go. So code blocks is now installed on your system. Now if you want to test code blocks real quick, you can click on create new project. Let's do console application. Let's do next C++ project title. Hello world. Yeah, I know this is just hello world. So let's just do that for now. It's a standard thing. Welcome to programming. Now folder to create project in. Just select any folder that you want. Next. Finish. There we have it. Let's go to main.cpp. It creates hello world sample by itself. Just click on this run right here. Yes. There we go. Hello world. Press any key to continue. So it works. Welcome to programming on Windows. Let's install code blocks on Mac. Right now I'm using OS X 10.9 Mavericks. So I'm going to install on that. If you have the latest version, that is great. But I'm going to show you how to install on the older version. It should have enough information for you to be able to install on the new version as well. So to do that, you'll need to be an Apple developer. In my opinion, it is not very developer friendly. So I don't use Apple very much. But for those of you guys who want to install it on Apple and be a developer on Apple, this would be a good starting point as well. To be able to install code blocks on Mac, you are going to need three things. First, you are going to need Xcode for Mac. The second is the command line tools. And the third is the code blocks, of course. On the virtual box, I have Mac OS X version 10.9 Mavericks running. So I'm going to have to install the older version of Xcode and older version of command line tools. But if you are using the latest version, then just install the latest Xcode and latest command line tools and you'll be fine. You can find the older version of command line tools and Xcode on developer.apple.com slash downloads and you're going to need to have at least one developer account to be able to access those downloads. For Mavericks, I'm going to install Xcode version 5.1.1 and command line tools for OS X Mavericks for Xcode. Now these files are huge so I have already downloaded them and I'm going to use that to install. So go to your finder and find those downloaded things and open the Xcode first. Just drag the Xcode to applications in the meantime, while it is doing this, I want you to go ahead and go to System Preference. Go to Security and Privacy. We want to be able to install any application that is not even authorized. So click on this icon here if anywhere is not ticked in Allow Apps Downloaded From Options. We want it to be from anywhere. So if it is not, just click on this lock here. Just type in your password and you'll be able to change this. So right now anywhere is fine for me so I'm just going to do nothing. Lock it again. Close out. The installation is almost complete and it took a lot less than I anticipated. Which is always the case pretty much. So okay so that is finished so let's go ahead and install the command line tools now. Oh. 
almost there. There we go. Installation was successful. Close. Now, if you haven't already downloaded Code Blocks, you can download it by going to codeblocks.org slash downloads. Go to download the binary release Mac OS X right here. It has not been updated for a while because I think they are lacking the Mac developer support here. For other versions, Code Block is in version 16.01. For Mac, it is 13.12. Just click on sourceforce.net. Just uh, go to wherever you have downloaded. I have downloaded it right here. Open it and just double click it. Click open. And this little icon here, click on that. Now, when you open this for the first time, it might ask you about the default compiler. Just select GCC compiler and you'll be fine. So, there it is select console application go next C++ I created a folder called programming in my document so that's where I'm going to save it and call this project hello and finish go to sources main this default program is fine click on run build it now yes to yes now it says that you'll have to agree to Xcode terms license, so let's open Xcode first. Alright, so you'll get this license agreement. Click on agree. Type in your password. Okay, so once you see this screen, you can exit out of it. So once that is done, just restart code blocks, close it, and I'll actually install these to my applications folders. So just find your applications folder, and I am going to drag and drop it right here. So there is code blocks, so let's do code blocks stop hit. So we're going to reopen the previous project hello and we are simply going to click on run. And right here it says hello world. If you have done ev everything successfully, you should see this screen and you are done. We'll talk about better programs in the future. To subscribe so there we go that's how you install code blocks on your Mac now how to install code blocks on Linux especially I'm going to use Ubuntu to install code blocks on Linux more specifically Ubuntu but you can apply the same idea to other Linux distro as well just go to codeblocks.org slash downloads. Here click on download the binary release. And then depending upon which Linux you are using, just download whatever version is that you are using. I'm using Ubuntu right now. I think uh, Codeblocks is also available on Ubuntu Software Center, which you can find it right here. I'm going to search for code blocks. Okay, yep right here now with this type of installation you'll be able to update this software very easily so I'm just going to go ahead and install it from here type in your password okay so installation is complete let's open the IDE GNU GCC compiler click OK so there is code blocks so now we are going to go ahead and create new project do console application there we 
go go to sources main this is the default program that we want to use just click on build and run so there we go hello world press enter so there you go folks that's how you install code blocks on ubuntu now since we installed it from repository it have installed version 13.12 though it is easy to install and update quite easily but update may not come in very fast in the repository so that's the trade-off if you want the latest version you'll have to download it from the website here um, I'll just show you how you can download from here as well just download any one of these two versions is fine so that's the divine that's the Ubuntu version that we're going to install to have an extension .deb in the end if you are going to install it for Ubuntu. So it have finished downloading it right here. I'm going to go to my terminal. Now it have downloaded to my downloads folder. There we go. I'm going to have to extract it first. So I'm going to do exvf code blocks enter then let's see stretch okay cd stretch cd md64 now what i'm going to do is i'm just going to say dpkg that's i asterisk dot deb so that will install all the deb files that is here oh yeah and i'll need a super user privilege so i'm going to do sudo so it says here that the code blocks country was not installed properly now to find this i'm not going to use any terminal i'm just going to see if it is available in some repository here let's see so yep there we go click on install install anyways okay so that fixed the problem now let's try again so that time we didn't see any errors so let's open code blocks again this one right here is what we installed previously uh, let's just say yes and i'm going to remove that from software center because that's where we installed it from Go to installed maybe in developer tools yep remove it remove so yep create new project console c++ it should not be allowing me to do hello i think it is already available maybe hello world run build yes and there we go hello world so you're all set to start programming so in my next video i'll go through some basics in programming if you want to go ahead and get a head start i already have some tutorials go and check those out so stay tuned subscribe like this video put some comments down in below if you have some problems let me know or if you have any suggestions if you want me to make some kind of videos just let me know i'll make those and remember, there will be a new video every Monday and Thursday. On Thursday, there will be a web development tutorial. I'll help you create your first website. And on Monday, there will be a C++ tutorial. So let other people know who want to learn programming as well. And you guys are awesome for watching this video.